Seth Doan is tracking the developments from Beijing. Seth, do we know if there were any warnings leading up to this attack? Indonesian authorities had received warnings that the Islamic State was planning an attack and focusing on civilians in Indonesia. I was actually in Indonesia over the holidays on the resort island of Bali where those 2002 bombings took place. And we really saw the security stepped up at a number of sites that were popular with tourists. Seth, can you tell us a little bit about the terror activity in Indonesia? I think a lot of people may be surprised when they hear this news. Yeah, Indonesia is considered relatively fertile ground for uh, terrorism. They have battled Islamic extremism in the in the past. It is the country in the world with the largest population of Muslims, but they have had a relatively few number. Really, reports suggest it's just a couple of hundred that have traveled to Syria to train with ISIS, though just last year we saw, or in 2014, we saw Abu Bakr Bashir, who is the spiritual leader, the jailed leader of Jemaah Islamiyah, one of the big Islamic radical groups in Indonesia, had vowed to support ISIS, though that was a vow he made in jail. So there was a question as to how much that really affected activity on the streets. But certainly Indonesia has been the target of a number of terrorist attacks in the past. Jakarta, most recently in 2009, that was when the most recent major terrorist attack was on those two hotels in the middle of the city. And that terrorist attack in Bali back in 2002 that killed more than 200 people. Seth, you mentioned that you recently spent time in Indonesia, in Bali, and you saw stepped up security. I'm wondering, was that security concentrated around certain businesses? Or tell us about the security steps that you saw. We saw more around hotels and places where you would expect foreigners to be. And we saw really increasing, was there over Christmas and New Year's, and you saw the security presence Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, and such uh, boosting quite a bit. They would go through your bags, you'd go through metal detectors, even just getting into a restaurant. All right. Seth Doan reporting for us. Seth, thank you so much.